When fathers give their daughters away in marriage, they get to pass on certain torches, if you will, to the new husband. There is a protecting of your daughter purse, uh, torch. Purse? Purse, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slip on my part. There's giving your daughter a roof over her head torch. There's the emotional support torch. And oh man, Kyron, I have to admit, I am very, very excited about passing this one on to you. <laughs> the designer purse torch. I'm so excited about passing it on to you, I actually brought it with me. Kyron, the thing with designer purses is it starts off very innocently. <laughs> Usually with a coach purse. <laughs> Three, four hundred bucks, no big deal. And again, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can hardly talk just thinking about it. Then what happens, Karen, is simply out of nowhere, it quickly escalates to LV, Louis Vuitton, then Gucci, then Prada, oh my God, Chanel. Have you heard of Birkin, Karen? If you can, Karen, avoid Birkin at all costs. I've been able to do that so far. <laughs> now that I've passed the designer purse torch on to you, I'd like to share my Birkin purse avoidance strategy with you. Oh, you. It's simple and very effective. First, subconsciously, which is very powerful, changing your mind, the Birkin purse to the Birkin curse. Secondly, and this has really worked well for me, every night when my head hits the pillow, I repeat over and over again to myself until I fall asleep. Birkin is bad. <laughs> Birkin is bad. Just kidding, Karen. Actually not. 